Welcome into episode number 107 of The Voice Behind the Voice. I'm Sean Aronson, the TV and radio broadcaster for the St. Paul Saints, an independent minor league baseball team in the Twin Cities. Well, if you usually watch this or have the last few episodes that we have started putting the video out, if you watch this on video, you'll notice that we've sort of changed the set a little bit. And for those of you that only listen to the audio, you can find the video uh, on Facebook at The Voice BTV uh, on Facebook or, or Twitter. We also post it there, uh, same uh, handle there, The Voice BTV. But you'll notice lockers behind me. And for those of you that just listen, actual lockers. We've, uh, we've started to design this set a little bit differently as we get ready for the St. Paul Saints season. Kind of coming up here in, uh, what are we, six, seven weeks away now? It's starting to get close. I always tell people this is the time when April hits for, for our season and we open up May 18th, the final six weeks getting ready for the season. This is the most hectic. This is the craziest six weeks uh, that we have going on with deadlines and everything else. And then I had another curveball thrown at me where now we have to go look for a new radio station. So of all the other things I'm trying to do, uh, landing a radio station happens to be one of them, which is something I haven't had to deal with uh, this late in the game since I got here 12 seasons ago. But not worried about that. I think uh, all will will take care of itself as it usually does. A couple of quick things I want to hit on before we get to this week's episode. Number one, I finally jumped into the foray and watched Brockmeyer. So many people had been telling me that I had to watch this show. It's the Hank Azaria show uh, where he plays the role of a play-by-play broadcaster uh, down on his luck that he used to be a major league uh, broadcaster uh, down on his luck and now goes back into to minor league baseball. Hank Azaria, first of all, is unbelievably hilarious. And the second thing is the St. Saint Paul Saints will make a, a little bit of a a show, if you will, in in season two, which I think starts at the end of April. Chris D'Elia, who is producing the second season, uh, also a comedian, but he's producing the second season. He reached out to the Saints. uh, This had to be September of last year, looking for video footage. Uh, I don't know how they're going to use it in the second season, if it's just going to be on TVs in the background or what, but they're... They basically purchased a couple of games from us that they're going to use in season two. So I don't know how it's going to be. My voice will not be on it. I promise you that. It's just going to be the video. But how they're going to use it, I don't know. So the Saints make an appearance in in season two, uh, which which has got me thinking. I would love to get Chris D'Elia and I would love to get Hank Azaria on this podcast. Uh, Again, I only do this in person. For those of you that may have tuned into ESPN Baseball on Sunday, Hank Azaria, as his character Brockmeyer, was at the Mets game uh, and did a half inning in his character, which which was quite humorous. Uh, I think he was on there with uh, with Carl Ravitch, and I forget who else was in the booth uh, with him, but uh, Azaria was on there. The, the second thing that I want to say, I had a, a friend reach out to me who I've known her for, oh man, 35 years now. Uh, I, I grew up with her, her brother was my best friend growing up, and, um, and, and you know, I obviously was, you know, a part of that family as he was a part of my family, and um, she reached out to me. I'll see her usually once a year when we go down to Texas. She now lives in Texas, but, um, but, but she reached out to me because of something that I had posted on Facebook. It was uh, the, the, the Dodgers having Kirk Gibson throw out the, the first pitch on, on opening day, um, and, you know, there, there was a whole video about the 1988 home run. And I thought it was, it was very nice that, that she reached out to me. And it was very simple. She said, look, you posted this. It, it kind of brought me back to my childhood. And I just wanted to call you and let you know that what you did in posting that, what you're doing with the videos that you post for uh, your podcast and, and the podcast in general makes a difference. Um, that it makes a difference in in my life when you do things like that, that it makes a difference in other people's lives, I'm sure, when they listen. Uh, And it it meant a lot just for someone to reach out. And again, I I realize the post had to do with with something not necessarily related to the podcast, but but she sees these videos. And it's always nice to hear from people who say, hey, I listened to the podcast or, 
you know, I listen to it with, with someone else or when I'm driving around or when I'm working out or whatever, and, and I enjoy the insight that you bring or whatever it is, wh- whatever the compliments that I get from people out there, uh, it, it is nice to hear from folks that what you're doing is making some sort of a difference, whether it's it enables people to forget about their lives for 45 minutes to an hour or it gives them greater insight to a broadcaster they listen to. Or in the case of some where you have a preconceived notion about a broadcaster and it makes you think uh, quite the opposite of that person. But uh, always nice to hear from people is, is the bottom line. And it was great to hear from someone uh, who I've known for, for 35 years, which is crazy to think of, um, and who I hope to see when, when we go down to Texas in, uh, in, in late May. With that, let's get to episode number 107. It is back-to-back Chicago weeks, if you will. Last week we had Neil Funk of the Chicago Bulls. This week it is John Wideman of the Chicago Blackhawks. Uh, great story with, with John. Uh, he talks about the the only game or one of the only games that he's ever missed, and it was a playoff game when he had diverticulitis. He had a great story about that and uh, how, he's, how he's on the team playing and didn't want to complain to anyone. Uh, and he talks about how he got started in this business with basically showing up to the NHL draft uh, and making contacts there and then driving back from the NHL draft, for that, which I believe was in Montreal, and then driving back through Canada down to uh, to the states where he lived and stopping off at all these little cities uh, along the way to introduce himself to the teams in each of those cities. Uh, it's, it's a great story, um, and John was so kind. We did this at the hotel that they were staying at, which was not the normal hotel where the NHL teams stay here, and we did it in like the business center in the computer room. So there's going to be a few points in this where you're going to hear a gentleman talking on his cell phone, and I think he's he's a realtor of some kind, and he's pretty loud, too. He must have been 10, 15 feet away, and he makes this call while we're doing this interview, and it's almost like he's trying to be the guy that is extra loud because, and we were in there before he was, we were disrupting the business he was trying to do, so he wanted to almost let us know that, hey, I'm going to disrupt the business that you're trying to do. You can hear it in the background. It's, it's kind of funny, um, and I think it's, it's a few minutes in there. It's nothing uh, that lasts the entire time. If uh, you have not subscribed to the podcast, you can do so on iTunes or wherever you get your podcasts. Be sure to rate the podcast, and you can also follow us on social media, uh, Twitter, at The Voice BTV, Facebook, facebook.com backslash The Voice BTV. You can always email me, thevoicebtv at gmail.com. All right, let's get to it. Episode number 107, John Weideman of the Chicago Blackhawks. JW, roll the open. It's lower gastric pain under the belt, and you know, and you're thinking all these awful things. Now, this is the playoffs, right? So you're on a plane with a whole bunch of hockey players yeah. in the back of the plane that are dealing with fractures and pulls and scars and cuts and God knows what, separated, separated joints. And here I am with a stomach ache, and it's, it's painful as you can't imagine, but I'm thinking to myself, well, wait a minute, what if this is, is an appendicitis? What if my appendix is going to burst? <laughs> 